I learned about a Pokemon and evolved it in less than half an hour. All the way. Wow. This is really, really crazy. I think I just broke a record. Whoa, that is really beautiful. I can't go down. What is up, everyone? Welcome again. And today I'm actually in Bridgewater in Massachusetts. And I just came over to this park, which is actually one of my favorite places to play Pogo. And look at this. There's a Pokemon in here carrying wood that I've never seen before. I don't know this Pokemon, and I'm always honest about stuff. And there is like a lot of them. So what's going to go ahead and happen? As always, I'm going to start by spinning. Ooh, we can't do that as a matter of fact. But let's see who this is. This is Timber. Timber. Timber Pokemon. So let's go ahead and catch some of these Timbers. And for the sole purpose of drawing, as always, we're going to be drawing Timber now. That The fact that... Wow, six candies? What in the world is going on? That Pokemon can evolve for 50 candies, and we get 6 candies whenever we catch it? Okay, let's go ahead and catch all of them in this place, and we're gonna go ahead and actually evolve these. Because if we catch the, the ones that are in this place, we definitely are coming up with the 50 candies, and we're definitely going to be able to actually evolve, uh, wow, 6 candies. What is going on? Something weird is going on. I usually get three candies for a Pokemon coat, but for some reason today I'm getting six candies. I think it's because it's a special event, and you can see there is way, way, way too many of them in this place. So let's go ahead and accumulate the candies. So we have 18 candies so far, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, catch timber. And for the sole purposes of drawing, you could see on the right. Uh, Pokemon that was chosen and is being drawn uh, speed drawing here on the right so what happens is I'm using sketchbook pro a design software or a drawing software uh, in order for me to actually draw this Pokemon and you can see it on the right here going on uh, with all the drawing it just is fair that we draw timber 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 there's a lot of them so let's go ahead and catch all of them Meanwhile, I can also check and see how many candies I actually need to evolve one of them. Is he breaking free? And they're all having some kind of good CPs running between 300 and 600 CP, which is combat power. So let me see. Uh, 36 candies, and we need 50 candies to actually evolve one of those. This is the easiest they've ever given away a Pokemon for it to be evolved. If you've been following this channel, you actually realize that we actually recently uh, evolved a Pokemon. Although to its final stages of evolution. Wow, six candies. Win 42. We're already there. We can actually... Um, if we catch two more, we will be able to evolve this Pokemon. Timber. I've ne I'd never seen this Pokemon before. I'd never caught it before. I'm, I'm really curious to see what it actually evolves into. So, if we catch one more and they give us six candies for it, we will eventually be able to actually evolve this Pokemon. This is interesting. Like, for the first time I see it and I can be able to evolve it, that will be really cool. So, one of those ones actually escaped us. It just ran away. Let's go ahead and lure one more with just a combat power of 127 CP. So if you're new to the channel, usually we prowl around the entire world looking for Pokemon. And when we finally catch them, we go ahead and draw them. That's what you're seeing is happening on the right side of this video. We're going ahead and drawing whatever Pokemon. Oh, this one is good. This one is 800 CP. So if I'm actually to evolve, this is going to be the one that I'm going to be evolving. Because it's the one that actually has the highest CP so far of the ones that I've actually been able to capture. So it is definitely going to be this one. Uh, let's go ahead and evolve it and see what it turns into. Timber. Timber. So, evolve. Let's go ahead and evolve this timber and see what it becomes. I always love this process. It never, get old, never gets old. It never gets old. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cute. So it evolves into a garter. Um, 
a garter. Yeah, it evolves into a garter. And he can actually mega evolve. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Evolves into a garter and it can actually mega evolve. And uh, we need about 200 candies if we are to do that mega evolution. That is so beautiful. I actually do like it. I'm going to go ahead and register it to my Pokedex. So if you're looking on the right, you are seeing us drawing. It's definitely going to be a garter. I'm drawing this one. Beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. Wow. Let me go ahead and actually capture about a bunch more over there. Because what is happening is that um, um, I'm now going to start making it a point to seek the 200 candies. In order for me to be able to actually evolve. To mega evolve it. Beautifully done. It's still giving me six candies per timber that I catch. I'm going to try to do a curve ball there. Trying to throw a curve ball. Cody. Timber. Six candies every time I catch one. This is new. This is really new. But I actually just had an update before I came online. So which means something is going on. And that something is really, really interesting. Let's catch as, ma as many timber as we can. And usually what I usually do is I catch as many as I can. And then I go ahead and actually transfer them. Uh, and when you transfer it. So in addition of the six candies that you go, when you transfer them, you're going to get an additional candy. So which means each of these ones you get could be worth seven timber candies. Seven timber candies. It's huge. What is huge? What is huge? Somewhat over there came out saying it's huge. Let me see. What is huge? Six candies as always. New height record. So this one is bigger than all the ones that I've actually caught. So that's good. That's good. This one is 600. Oh! Tries to smack you with that. I also love his fighting techniques. What a beautiful, beautiful display of a Pokemon. Uh, this is. We can evolve that one too. So we have way too many candies. Uh, but I'm not actually doing that. I'm uh, trying to collect as many as I can in order for me to actually uh, mega evolve the garter at this point. Congratulations, you and a meadow catch 55 type Pokemon. So uh, now you also know Timber is a type, a fight type Pokemon. So let's actually go ahead and learn about what the Timber uh, seems to be. And after we learn about it, then we can go ahead and... Uh, try to catch as many as we can but before we do that what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to go to my pokedex and i'm going to transfer all of those that i just caught oh wow the electric also gave me six candies it's just happening just for every pokemon that i'm catching today because i usually get only two i mean three candies for every pokemon caught how did i move from three to six is it just happening just for today I think this may be happening just for today. Wow, that is really interesting. That is really interesting. So it means I may need to capture about, let me see, five. I may need to capture about. About 50 of these in order for me to actually be able to mega evolve this one. The timber. I'm going to catch as many as I can. As always, you know how it is. I'm going to catch as many as I can. Because the more I catch, is the more candies I get. But guys, if you haven't uh, subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also, uh, there is one thing that I actually like from you guys. Please, could, you could go ahead and write my artwork on the right. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. If you like this artwork, let me know. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and look for the timber. Timber. And they're going to show all of them that I have in there. Uh, I'm going to filter them by CP. 
so the one with the lowest cp is the first and i'm gonna go ahead and start transferring all of them so to transfer it you just tap the pokemon tap the three lines in the bottom tap the last options and say transfer and they give me one candy for each one of them that i transfer so that only means that i actually get seven candies for each of these ones i caught because initially i got six candies just for catching it and if i transfer it they give me an extra candy so that means i get seven candies for each of these i catch and if there is many of them like there has always been like it has shown me today it means i can even actually i think reach about 200 candies for this thing let me transfer all of them i don't need them i need maybe only one and uh, i already evolved to a garter so i need only one with the highest cp i'm gonna leave that one with the uh, uh, cp of uh, 896 i'm gonna transfer all these ones so if i tap this one you can see i can still evolve it and i have 82 candies almost 100 candies i need 200 candies in order for me to be able to evolve the garter let me see garter so the garter is here i have 82 timber candies i need 200 candies in order for me to actually be able to uh, evolve that one so what's going to go ahead and happen let's open the official pokedex let me see if there is any more let me first catch these ones that are actually appearing here and more see if i can still get six candies from this one so I'm in 80 candies, I need about 120 candies. I need about 120 candies. Uh, let me see. Is there any more? There is no more. But let's go to the official Pokedex and actually try to learn about this uh, Pokemon, the Timber, and see what it actually has in store. Is that 900 CP? I think this one is actually 900 CP. The CP of the ones I'm actually catching are also going up. This is close to 1,000. Did I see it right? Yeah, 971. That's good. That is really good. So let me go to the official Pokedex. And I'll type in Timber. Timber. And I'll search for it. And there it is. It's a fighting type Pokemon. So it loves helping out with construction uh, projects. It loves it loves it so much that it it rain causes if rain causes work to halt, it swings its log around and throws tantrums. Wow, timber that timber that have started cry, uh, carrying logs that are about three times their size are nearly ready to evolve okay so the the longer the timber is is uh the more it's close to evolving so you could see we already evolved into a garter we have this one evolved this is the one we're actually drawing on the right if you're paying attention it shows off its muscle to uh mochaic and other garter if it fails to measure up to other uh, pokemon it lies low for a little while Gutter excels at demolition construction it is uh is not for for fault in any case there's skill in the way this pokemon wields its metal beam so this is the one that i want now this one is called a conquer door oh my gosh this is the one that i want a conquer door Concrete mixed by Concreter is the much more durable than normal concrete. Even when uh, the composition of the two materials are the same. Uh, when going all out, this Pokemon throws aside its concrete pillars and leaps at opponents to pummel, uh, to pummel them with its fists. So what happens is it throws away these concrete ones and then it just jumps you and then starts punching. That's what it does. So you could see, oh wow, that actually makes sense. Let's go ahead and see this. This is the point that I want to make. So if it's a timber, it's carrying around uh, a log. It's carrying around this is wood. Um, when it evolves into a gutter, it's 
you could see its material is actually a piece of metal. And when it evolves into this concorder, then its uh, carrying thing here is concrete. That is a very good observation. I really do like this Pokemon. Let me actually hope I can actually uh, evolve it all the way to the concreter now because that's the one that I want. Wow, there is more. There is more coming in. There is more coming in. Let's go ahead and capture as much as we can to get the 200 um, candies in order for us to actually be able to evolve it. If that happens, this would be the fastest I've ever evolved a Pokemon all the way to three levels. So we got 100 candies. We need 100 to go. We need 100. So it means if I catch about about eight more, about eight more, about ten more, let's just say ten. If I catch about ten more of these ones, I'll actually be able to evolve it all the way to the Conqueror. And now they're going all the way up into the sea pits, going all the way to uh, 1,000. Oh my gosh, this is a heavy mission. I definitely am doing this. I'm definitely doing this. Uh, there's one more left. So you know actually what is going to go ahead and happen. I have Essence for the day. I haven't used it. I'm going to go ahead and activate the Essence and see if I can actually attract as many as possible. This is just 400 CP, but it's breaking my balls even if I'm throwing curve balls. Whoa, that's crazy. Now the challenge is on. Even when I throw them back to back or even carve them, he still broke out of it. Beautiful carve ball. Beautiful carve ball throw over there. Gotcha. Let me see how many candies I have now in pocket. I have 118. Woo! We're pumping for 200 so we can be able to actually evolve it more. Hopefully we can have the Stardust and all the other stuff that it needs to actually evolve to a Mega Conkledor. Conkledor. That would be the the fastest I've ever actually done this. Learning about the candy, the, I mean the, the Pokemon the first time and actually being able to evolve it on that same day. Let me go ahead and activate my Essence. Since I'm in a very good place and see if I can actually attract, as, attract some more. Yep. One of them over there showed up. As soon as I activated my essence. <clears throat> I don't think it's essence attracted though. Because what happens is if a Pokemon is essence attracted. It will show it over its head. For you to know that actually the essence attracted it. But 130 candies is not bad at all. Another one popped up. This is how you do it, guys. This is how you do it in order for you to be actually able to evolve a Pokemon as fast as possible. But this will be the fastest I've actually ever done this. Learn about the Pokemon the first time I open an account. I mean, the first time I open up my app and then being able to actually evolve it all the way. That would be great. That would be great. Please give me some more. Give me, give me some more. Give me some more. Give me some more. Let me see what is on this route. What is on this route? I'm not doing that. Give me some more. Come on, give me some more timber. <clears throat> My item bag is full. I gotta take out some of the stuff. Let me see what is in the special missions here. Claim reward. Gotta keep it up over there. Beautifully done. Wow, everything that I'm catching today is giving me six candies. Have you guys played today? So today is Sunday. But it seems to be like everything I'm catching is giving me six candies. Like that has never happened to me before. And then when I actually trade them off, then I can have seven candies for that particular Pokemon. I think that's a game changer. Code another one. Let me see. I have 140. 
142. 142, but I actually need 200 candies. And what's gonna go ahead and happen after I catch as many as I can, I'll go ahead and transfer those you've seen. I've done that a little bit before. Uh, I'll go ahead and transfer them and then they'll give you an extra candy. That's why if I get six for catching it, in my head I'm counting seven. I'm counting seven Pokemon for that. There you go. Gotcha. Oh, 154, 154. If I catch one more, I'm going to be in 160 and 40 candies to go. The only disappointing part is going to be having all the candies, but I don't have the mega... Uh, requirements other requirements sometimes you may need mega candies sometimes you may need a bunch of stardust in order for you to evolve it even more so having just the candies sometimes is not enough to do that last form of evolution and i think my um essence is actually working attracting them even more i think my essence is attracting them even more so that's good yeah, let me see. Is there one more? Is there anything more? Come on, show me. Bring in some more. Bring in some more. All I need is timber. There you go. Showed up. Showed up. There's a builder fighter Pokemon. All they do is build. They love building with wood, with metal, and also oh, 172. Yeah, yeah, baby, we got this. We got this, guys. We got this. So if I transfer maybe 10 of them, then I'll be in 180 something. So I'll be actually below 20 Pokemon needed. So let me go ahead and bring up my Pokedex, and I'm gonna go ahead and search for Timber. So timber with a double R. There they are. So I'm going to filter them again with CP. And I'm going to let the lowest one on the bottom. And let's continue with the transfer process. One. Two. Three. I'm counting my candies. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 candies. I'm gonna leave the one with 900 because if I was to evolve, that would be the one I would actually go ahead and evolve. And there's one more here. Let's go ahead and capture him and see how many candies we actually have towards that evolution. Gotcha, six candies. So we have 193. In a bit, we're gonna be able to actually do this. 193 Team Rocket showed up. I don't care about you, Rocket. I have a mission to accomplish today. Yeah, yo! Looks like this is it. It looks like this is it. Wow, this will be epic because I'd never done this before. Learning about the Pokemon for the first time and then evolving it in less than half an hour, that would be really a record setter. I don't know if any of you guys has ever done that. But if you have done it before, please let me know in the comment section below. Because for me, that will literally be that will literally be setting a record in my in my books. Well, I'm still young, a player, because I'm just level 27. But that would still be a record in my books. So let me see 199. Uh, what's gonna go ahead and happen? I'm gonna go ahead and tap here, Pokemon. Of course, as always. Look for timber. Look for timber. Transfer. 
and I'm gonna transfer this one as well so I have one with 197 I'm gonna leave that one and wow what is this Pokemon this one is different too is it halloween time that's where they're showing this this is like a pumpkin i've never seen this one before too pump kaboo is a pumpkin that's a halloween pokemon that's also different and new wow i love it but so let's go ahead and actually look for the girder so i'm gonna go ahead and search for the girder girder we can evolve it. We can really evolve it. I think I just set a record, guys. I really do think I just set a record. I really... This Pokemon will exit the CP limit for some battle legions. I think I just broke the record. I literally just broke the record. I learned about a Pokemon and evolved it in less than half an hour. All the way. Wow. This is really, really crazy. I think I just broke a record. Whoa. That is really beautiful. A conquered arrow. Let me see how many CP he has. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. And I can even power it up with a CP of 2,107. This is a record breaker. I've never done this in my entire gameplay. That is a record setter. Wow. So let me go actually ahead and power it up. Let me see where the CP is going to go. Wow, I can do that? It's, it can go up to 5. Exchange. Power up. Yes. 2,100 CP. That is really good. That is really good. That is really good. Wow, unbelievable. I can't believe this. This is the first time I've done this. Have you guys done this before? If you have, please let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't, you can see how that is a record setter for me. That is definitely a record setter for me. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section below. One, read my art. Two, let me know if this has ever happened to you before. If you've ever actually learned about a Pokemon and evolved it in less than half an hour all the way to the its final form of evolution. Has that ever happened to you? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. And I'll hope to uh, see you again in the next video because you have subscribed. And let me know uh, what your gameplay is. Thank you so much and peace.